Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Elia Santiago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, October 5th, 2023. Now let's go to Daniela to learn about Hispanic heritage. Salud the Patriots. Today we'll be talking about the South in Costa Rica. As it states in its name, the Costa Rican sloth is named for being Costa Rica's national symbol. In a way, sloths represent the spirit of the Costa Ricans. Just like sloths, ticos are known for their peaceful attitude, slow-paced life, and little stress. Did you know that the Costa Rican sloth fur is actually an entire ecosystem in and of itself with colonies of algal, fungi, moths, and mites? Because of this, it gives the sloth a kind of greenish look to their fur and provides the camouflage. Okay, fantastico. I hope to go visit Costa Rica someday. Thank you, Daniela. Today's lunch is hamburger, ham and cheese sandwich, baked beans, fresh baby carrots, garden side salad, sliced peaches, and your choice of milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is pancakes, cheesy scrambled eggs, honey nut Cheerios, string cheese, fresh oranges, and 100% apple juice. Students, please keep in mind the lunch menu can change at any time and to always bring your lunch cart. And don't forget to inform your teachers if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit and let's go back to your life. Thank you, Samara. Today we have something special for you guys. Here are our FSPA highlights. I hope you find this interesting. Face. Make your most angry face. Say bye. Mrs. Santiago, say bye. Miss Alvarez, say bye. Say hi. I'm going to say hi. She's taking a video. Say hi. She's out. I said, I'll jump here. Haha, <laughs> those really are some highlights. For today's Hispanic Heritage activity, our students will be able to get some gold when they learn all about Hispanic currency. Would you do me a favor and save me some? Patriots, remember it's important to keep your phones shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also remember there's no chewing gum in the school, so make sure to spit it out before entering the building. How about we do a countdown until the end of our software challenge? The challenge ends on the 20th. We know you can do it, Patriots, and don't forget that as a reward, you'll be able to attend the best breakfast bash ever. Don't miss out. Girls basketball tryouts at 4 until 5.30. The requirements are a completed physical grade sheet with your parents' signature. Don't stress and just do your best. Calling K-5th, through fifth. the Barnyard Dance is on the 27th. It will be so much fun. I just know it. Remember to pay $5 and no referrals throughout the month. I hope you all have fun. Also, on the 27th, we will be looking for gold in a chicken nugget extravaganza. Same as the barnyard dance, you will need to pay $5 and no referrals. We know you can do it. Boo! Why? It's our Bluegrams. This is a great opportunity to give your friends a little fright. So order before the 25th or everything will be sold out. The fee is $5. Boo! Did I get ya? Our fall festival will be epic. All the scare you can imagine, like games, raffles, the famous haunted hallway, and the best one, candy. You can get tickets on myschoolbucks.com 
The festival is on the 28th. Let's see our scary costume. Now let's go to Harasa for today's weather. Thank you, Elia. Salutations, Patriots. Today's weather is 88 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny weather. Make sure to wear your sunglasses. In other weather news, a giant blue crab has been spotted for the first time in North Carolina. What's interesting about that is that giant blue crabs are typically found in Caribbean areas. That's why it's so odd to find it in North Carolina. Another fun fact, giant blue crabs can be as big as a coconut. Researchers are trying to figure out how the crab ended up there and how big the species population is. How interesting. Now let's go to Nia for Patriot on the Go. Hey guys, welcome back to Patriot on the Go. My name is Nia Seymour, now let's see what our peers have to say about today's question. Hey, what's your name? Brindell. So, if you would have a pet, would it rather be a monkey or a panda, and why? A panda, it's because it's soft and cozy. Wow, me too. I really love pandas. Hi, what's your name? Kais. Hi, Kais. If you would have a pet, would it rather be a monkey or a panda, and why? A panda, because I love pandas. Hi, what's your name? Ethan. Hi, Ethan. If you had a pet, would it rather be a monkey or a panda, and why? Um, a panda because like they're cute and they like um I rather have one that's a pet than a monkey for more. Yeah, me too. I feel like a monkey would be way more messy. Hi, what's your name? Tristan. Hi, Tristan. If you would have a pet, would it rather be a panda or a monkey, and why? A panda because it looks so cute. Me too. I think pandas are cute. Hi, what's your name? Christina. Hi, Christina. If you would have a pet, would it rather be a panda or a monkey, and why? Monkey, cause, cause they're active. Oh, monkey, cause they're active, they're more playful, huh? Wow, that's a great answer. Bye. Wow, scholars, those were some great answers. In my opinion, if I would get a monkey or a panda as a pet, I would definitely pick a panda. They're so cute and they're really squishy. Bye, guys. Thank you, Nia. Welcome back to Sports Patriots. On Tuesday, our girls volleyball and boys flag football had a game against Aces, but unfortunately, the girls volleyball team lost 25 to 18. The players who did the best was number three, Daria Ellis Maria, and number two, Naya Ellis Maria. Congratulations to the flag football team that won the game 26 to zero. The MVPs of the game were number 11, Derek Roll, that threw three touchdown passes and ran one. And number 22, Jordan Roman, scored a touchdown and got an interception. On defense, Alejandro Silvera and Wood Patel each got an interception. Congratulations, and we hope to see you at the next game. Now let's go wish our Patriots happy birthday of Catherine. Thank you, Hadassah. Today's birthday girls are Bethany Allen, Valentina Placentes, and our very own Rex Pines teacher, Miss Brown. Happy birthday, and let's go back to Elia. Thank you, Catherine. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a tender Thursday. Have a wonderful day.